Hi, I'm Andy Council and I created this City Fox for Chelsea and Westminster Hospital and we are going today to look at how you would draw one. Having the fox leaping would be really good I think for this. So if we start off by getting the, um, the spine in, the backbone of the fox, and we're marking in here where his rough is and then going all the way from the back to this point here, which is the fox's backside, and then meeting there. Okay, now to add in the head. So quite pointy triangular bits on the side of the head. And going down to the fox's nose, and then bringing up again here to another triangle. Now right, for the pointy triangle ears on the head and then sketching where we're going to put the fox's tummy. We'll first of all put in the front legs, kind of a sausage shape there and then add in the tummy there, it's got a round circular shape. Okay so we're moving back onto the front legs. In the poles in here. Adding in some furry bits. The back leg. And then going over there. So it's, you can really see it leaping now. And putting the other back leg behind it. Just mirroring the shape of the, the leg that's in front of it. And the same on the front paws. And then so you've got a, a circular shape there. And on the tummy you've got a big oval shape here. And there's another oval here. And then you yeah, define the triangles on the head. And now moving on to the lovely big bushy tail. Coming out the back side there. That could be going back up into the air and getting wider at the end and there's a triangle. Now it's time to add in the landmarks into the fox and uh, these are the sketches I made of buildings from nearby to Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. You could do buildings at nearby or come up with some unusual ones yourself. Often I make a very quick sketch beforehand making notes of where to put these buildings. Okay, let's start with the tummy area. That's nice and big and round and what I think would fit in there really nice is if we put a football stadium in. So this is the, the Chelsea ground. So add in some curves for the for the stands. So that you're looking at it from above and you can see into the football ground. And and put in the seats. And put in the centre line. The goal, goal areas. Okay, that's adding a few more details in there. Put these lines in here on the roof and this side so that already looks like the football pitch now we move on to the head now the ears would be great as uh, tall buildings so put one pointy kind of high rise building in here as a head, as one on the ear curvy bit here that goes down on the jaw, the chin and the roof here and goes it's a nice pointy nose and a building here with a window for the eye and another tall building here for the other ear so this, this leg here I think would be good to add in as the Brompton Cemetery. So it's got 
large circular bit in the middle that's good on the um, the shoulder. And put in some nice trees, so almost like fur around around the fox's neck. Okay, the back here. And I think the back here is Earl's Court from above. So it's a big building with the tubular kind of roof putting the windows Got some trees here coming out the back for the tail and these bits coming out here and leading away that's going to be kind of a, a distorted version of Battersea power station going up here and up top here Going to have a park, so that's the park at Battersea, and then you've got the river there, and the pagoda that's in the park. Some bridges going across from Battersea Power Station. So come back to the front of the fox. more trees. I like putting the trees in and fill up the space and almost like fur. So on this front leg we're putting in a bridge. So this it's all quite sketchy at the moment. You can go back around afterwards and tidy it up. The front building on the long building on the leg. high-rise building on the back leg it's nice and long meeting another high-rise there we go so just get the rubber and rub out some of the unnecessary lines just to clean it up a little bit and I think this bit here on the leg had too many lines in there and it got a bit confusing to look at so that can, that can help you see what you want. So just to add some more detail and perspective to this, these curved bits in the cemetery, the columns going down from them, these lines. So these are all done as if from a bird's eye point of view. So this is uh, one of the buildings in the, in the cemetery. Dome like roof on top of it. So looking at it from an angle. A pathway going up from that building, up through the circular landmark, more columns. Paths going off from it. A few more trees. And putting a lot of trees going down the back of the head on the mane of the fox. Almost like fur. building here with the roof of the building going up to the from the leg I'm taking out some more of the lines as well cleaning it up a bit in some details on the head to the roof where the windows would be on this building 
And the same on this here building here. Some chimneys on here. I think this bit was an old power station. So putting the front poles on. I think they're trees again. And some more details to the Earl's Court part of the back leg. Here. And there we have it. That's a very sketchy version of the City Fox. So this can be tightened up more and you can add more details, take out lines and come up with a drawing like this, which is pretty detailed, needn't be as ambitious as this. And then of course you can clean it up further by inking the lines and rubbing out all the pencil ones, make it nice and clean. And then if you wanted to, you can add colour to your drawing. So this one was done with computer, but you could do that in paint, inks, coloured pencils, whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed this today and found it helpful. Bye.